So I'd realized it's been 14 months since my vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on the 4th of April. Um, April 4th of this year is 14 months and I didn't do anything. I didn't even notice it passing. Um, so I've been, I was walking around in Walmart and I was thinking some of the things that are different now than 14 months ago or even further back six months prior to that when I started looking into the surgery and started actively doing the six month monitored diet prior to it. When I started out, I weighed 298. Right now I'm 175. My original goal was 180. I'd always said that when I was very heavy, I had always said that I felt good and healthy at 180. And that's true. I'm still carrying a lot of weight around the belly, but anyway, some of the things I notice now on a day-to-day -day basis is that my legs never touch uh, when I walk. My thighs don't rub together. Um, if I actually try to make my legs touch while I'm standing still, I have to bow my knees in together to do that. You know, I just don't have excess weight in that area. I'm always cold. Um, I'm always walking around the house <laughs> blowing on my hands and stuff. I'm just always cold. Um, I bruise easier now than I did before, but I think that's just because I, I noticed that I, when I hit things, it hurts. Like when I was shopping, I smacked my hand getting a gallon of milk out and I can already see the bruise starting there. Um, my feet are smaller, side to side, uh, not length, but side to side. Um, my tailbone is covered by just a, a little bit of skin and I hurt constantly when I sit down um, and in fact I hit I hurt in a variety of areas because of the butt bones hurt and you know I just don't have padding there um, that would be one surgical procedure that I would probably consider would be getting something put on to pad my butt but honestly you know you can carry a cushion around I'm thinking uh, that would probably be a better alternative since I don't like surgery. Um, let's see. Uh, golly. I walk a lot more than I ever did before, except when I was thin as, as a young woman, when I was between kids and when I'd taken off some weight. You know, I was down to like 220 back then in the early 80s. And back then I, I used to say that I felt like I could walk forever and not get tired. And I'm pretty much back to that. I stop myself, you know, at about eight miles a day because other, it just becomes over-exercising at that point. You know, it's not giving us, me as much of a benefit and there are honestly things at home that I need to be doing. Um, mentally, I feel a lot better about myself. I still don't recognize myself when I look in the mirror. You know, I doesn't help that I did this red thing to my hair. I cut it really short recently too, and I really like that. But the red hair, that's, yeah, that's not me. Um, emotionally, I feel a lot better, a lot more secure, and sometimes a little bit more frightened because I'm finding that as a smaller person, I'm not as strong as I used to be. And believe it or not, people who are carrying a lot of excess weight at least for myself, I was pretty brawny. And now that I've lost weight, I found that um, bumps and bruises hurt more and I don't have as much upper body strength as either I thought I had or as I used to have. Also, opening jars is a lot harder for me. Um, it just hurts when I, you know, when I move things around. Um, my ring size went from a 10 to a six and a half and my rings at 14 months are, they're getting loose again. At least my, my engagement ring is spinning. My wedding band is still pretty snug. When I exercise, my fingers swell, so I'm not gonna be resizing my rings anytime in the near future. You know, I, I'm trying to stay in the middle of the road as far as my eating goes. I try not to restrict too much because I need a mix of protein and carbs. Um, I started taking Metamucil on a daily basis, which is good, and it alleviates the need for so much, like Miralax and stuff like that, because it's got fiber in it. But 
there's so many foods that I'm I can't eat because of other conditions like food sensitivities and digestive issues unrelated to the sleeve that you know I try and eat what I want to eat but always the sleeve has me eating smaller portions so that is a good thing I find I do a lot of shopping you know food shopping and I walk around the stores and sometimes I'm just zoning in on these foods that I absolutely choose not to eat um, I'm still really food obsessed, but you know, that's the brain thing that we didn't have surgery on. So I'm okay with that. You know, it comes and goes. The best way for me to fight this hungry thing when I'm like ravenous is just to eat something. Because no matter what, if it's a, I'm not going to tempt anybody with whatever it is. Say it's one food that I'm really um, mentally going to town on just have anything it'll fill me up and that feeling will go away so you know that's kind of what I try to do sometimes I don't have that thought process when it's going on um, I could still end up in a binge mentality where I want to eat five whatever's fill in the blank and but the thing is my sleeve won't let me do that because once I have maybe one and a half of those whatevers, my nose is going to run and I'm going to get that feeling right about here that's going to say, stop now. And so I do. So that's a good thing. I feel kind of weird doing this in the Walmart parking lot. Wow. So anyway, that's, that's about it. Uh, I feel really great. My energy level is really high. My period stopped couple a week or so before I had my sleeve surgery never had them again I figure that menopause just hit me um, because you know now that I'm eating regular foods and taking in a normal amount of calories which is to say between like 14 and 1800 calories a day and um, at a decent weight they still haven't come back so I'm figuring yeah menopause yay um, I'm completely off of my proton pump inhibitor medicine now. It's been two months and now I'm completely off of it. And I went through a period one month into getting off of it and getting on Zantac and where I had this huge resurgence of acid. Oh, that was something. But you know what? It went away. And I just kept up with the Zantac and kept telling myself this too shall pass. And I'm okay, I take two Zantac a day, one in the morning and one in the late afternoon uh, toward evening. And now a lot of the mental fogginess that I had been dealing with has gone away. <clears throat> I am, however, and have been for the last month or so, having problems with dizziness. And I think that that's because it's getting warmer and I'm not drinking as much, or I'm just too busy and I'm not drinking too much or whatever. But if I eat too many carbs at one time, especially in the early part of the day, like we went out to breakfast a couple of times and one time I had pancakes. Not the greatest choice, but I only had one. I had this like dizzy out of body experience. Boy, I'm rapidly fluctuating here in temperatures and I'm, oh, dying. Let's get the AC on. Uh, I get the darkening to my vision where it's just like something's going on with the blood sugar maybe or something but I find if I get enough to drink and I carefully balance the protein with the carbs so that I'm not over carbing then I'm not getting dizzy as much but you know I really got to watch it I, I still have the majority of my weight loss uh, well, I mean, what to say? What I mean to say is, I have probably 15 pounds, and I swear it's all on the gut, all on the front. Um, it's slow, you know, only a couple of pounds a month, if I'm lucky, <laughs> if that. But you know, it's I can see a measurable difference as time goes by. My waist is down to 34 inches, and when I started out, it was 60 inches. And my hip measurement, which is where the whole belly thing is, is around 44 inches. So I just have this big pouch right there in front. And all the exercising in the world is 
not gonna, you know, just like wear that off. It's, it's a gradual process and it has to remain gradual because if I try and push it too fast, then what I'm hap finding is happening is I'm getting debilitated. So it's just the long haul or surgery. And you know, I, I don't know which one it's gonna be because I don't have any money at this point and I don't like needles. So there we have it. All right, 14 months, there you go.